What's up, you guys? It's in the background of the video, and I haven't done a commentary video in a minute. I think the last one I made was me about. Uh, I think I was ranting about something. Uh, seems like you guys like them type of videos. It's just me like ranting about the community. Um, well, I mean, I already knew that you guys like them type of videos because I made a lot of those videos in the past. But you know, um, let me know if you guys want more of them type of videos. I'll definitely make more for you guys. But for this video, I'm going to be talking about four different topics. One is going to be building a gaming PC in 2020. Second is going to be crossplay with new gen consoles. Third is going to be skill gap improvement. And fourth is going to be Halo Assassination Power. Um, so, for the first uh, topic, building, um, building a PC in 2020. Um, so, for all of you debaters, that don't have PCs and is curious about building, you know, about building a PC, getting one yourself, or switching over to con like one of the new consoles like um, Xbox One X Series or PS5, and you know, your answer is, you know, you wanna get a PC, because um, no matter what, you know, console, uh, console, you always have a limit on console. All right, you'll always have a limit on console. And you'll have a limit on controller, you can't play keyboard and mouse, and all that type of fun stuff. So you wanna have experience for most of the games that you'll play. Um, so, for you debaters, um, that's like, oh, but if I do get a PC, what should I do? Should I get it pre-built or should I build one? Well, the answer is you should build one. Um, I regret you know, not building mines the first time, but that's only because uh, I didn't have any confidence. I didn't know about any, I, I didn't know anything about gaming PCs, and so uh, until I started like researching a lot of videos and just like watching a lot of YouTubers. That's my favorite YouTubers now um, about PCs and stuff. But uh, I'm gonna tell you why you should build your PC. Uh, one of the reasons why you should build your PC is because it will cause less. And what I mean by that, you know, if you go to Walmart, Best Buy, or Amazon, stuff like that, you know, you'll see all these pre-built PCs and stuff like that, and that'd be high prices. And if you look and if you read the specs, if you're not a read specs, you'll be uncomfortable with those specs. You'll be like, ah, you know, I'm just, I'm just maybe keep looking or, you know, I'm going to change my mind. I'm just built one. So, um, you know. While you're like, you know, building your PC, you know, you learn, you learn how to build one. So, you know, uh, whenever you get into like, you know, changing parts and stuff like that, making improvements to your PCs, you know, you won't have to go to like some, uh, like, you know, you won't have to call a, a fucking PC fucking um, helper or whatever and stuff like that. And. You know, you won't call it like tech support basically. So you'll be you, like, you'll be the tech support person. So, you know what I'm saying? That's why you should build a PC, learn how to build one, and know your specs, do tons of research, everything. Because in the future, you're going to want to make improvements and you're going to be like, ah, I don't know anything about PC still, even though I'm, you know, I'm still playing on, you know, PC and stuff like that. So that's what you need to get. Um, also, you have warranties as well for parts, and you have warranties, um, you know, for your accessories as well. So, when you're on Amazon, if you're shopping on Amazon, you know, finding parts, stuff like that. They do give you the option to like for warranties and shit. So, you know, um, those were la those will be like four-year warranties actually. Uh, usually, if you go to Best Buy or Walmart, they only give you a year warranty. Which is kind of like a finesse, because you're like, you know, buying a uh, almost a thousand dollar PC with low specs, and you know your warranty is only one year. You're like, what the fuck, you know that type of shit. So you know, if you order all your parts off Amazon, you'll get like you know, years of uh, warranties on your fucking components and shit like that. Um, what else? Let's see. Um, you know, uh, so about the CPU coolers as well. CPU coolers, when you're building your PC, you definitely want to have a good CPU cooler because if you 
buy a Viva PC. Most Viva PCs won't even come with good um, superior and cooling systems. So when you're buying, so when you're building your PC, you know what I'm saying. Uh, make sure you always get the best CPU cooler that fits your PC, that fits your components, that will help you. You know what I'm saying. Um, don't get finesse, all right? Don't get finesse. And you know, after you learn how to build your own PC, and you get to learn, you know, you get to know your specs, specs about monitors, specs about your accessories, all that type of fun stuff. Then you'll be able to help people, such as like your elders or you know, uh, people at your school or in college, whatever you know. You get to help them, you know, your friends, blah blah blah, about PCs. Yeah, so if they want to build a PC, you can help them, and you know, it's always good to help. Um. Anyways, moving on to topic number two. So for topic number two, it's kind of like topic number three in a way. So. I'm probably just going to explain them both um, in the same way, basically. So, um, cross-play with new-gen consoles and scale gap improvement. And I'm pretty sure most of you guys know what uh, cross-play is. You know, you play with PC, PC players, Nintendo, Switch, uh, console Revenge. players. Uh, but for scale gap improvement, what I mean by scale gap is... The difference between console and PC, um, such as like frame rate and stuff like that, because on P, because on console you on, you only get to have like a limit, which is like 120 FPS hertz, but for PC you have 60, 120, 144, and uh, 240 hertz or F, or FPS. So, um. So with the skill gap between those, you know, you can obviously play on a PC with your controller. But the thing is that if you're going to move the PC, then you're going to most definitely try to get used to playing keyboard and mouse. And that's when improvement comes in and, you know, in the skill gap between keyboard and mouse and controller players. Contro you know, everybody know that. Keyboard and mouse get to have all these reflexes, a good aim, stuff like that. But the thing is that that takes time on the long road. You know, you most definitely want to hit the Kovacs on there, and you want to get used to the movement on keyboard and mouse. And maybe for like you know, like for like a month, when you play on the keyboard and mouse for like a month at least, you get used to the feeling. Uh, you get used to the feeling, but you're still below average. Uh, no offense, but improvement. You know, wise. You know, you can hit the Kovacs, you can hit Aim Labs, and these are games that will help you improve your aim. And you can understand like the game mechanics and how everything works on keyboard and mouse. Uh, so that's what I mean by skill gap improvement, because um, there will be a skill gap between PC and console when Halo Infinite comes out. So, when that comes out, you know, you want to take an advantage of console players, alright? So, yeah. Um, but, not saying nothing wrong with console players. Console players, there are still going to be some godlike console players out there that's good with aiming on controller. Um, you know, most of the time, when you play any type of shooting game, console players have aim assist. Um, but you will have aim assist as well, I'm pretty sure. If you play on controller, or if you play PC on controller, what did I say right? No, if you play controller on PC, sorry. Uh, if you play controller on P um, PC, you will have aim assist, but um, and you'll be at like you know more frames than you know your average um, person on console. But um, moving on to topic number four, I guess Halo Reach Assassination Tower on PC. As you guys can see in the gameplay, I am fighting my friend uh, on Halo Reach Assassination Tower on PC. Keyboard and mouse, we're both using keyboard and mouse. And we're both in third person using the third person mod called Assembly. And the um, reason why this is like, uh, I'm bringing this up is because um, crossplay will be available soon. Probably gonna be like when Halo 4 comes out. Um, but it will be available soon. So like, 
that's why I'm making this video about like, you know, um, these topics, um, you know, building a PC and cosplay skill gap, and blah, 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 because, um, I discovered that on keyboard and mouse in third person, okay, well, first, let's go over the first person. So, keyboard and mouse on first person has no mom has no momentum, all right? Um, I do have a video of me fighting grief in first person, and he has, like, no momentum of, like, jumping over my head or anything. Like, he can't jump over my head at all. Like, that's how bad it is in the first person for keyboard and mouse. That's why third person is, like, it's, like, good. Um, you do have to play on a low sensitivity. You can't play on a high sensitivity. Um, if you play on, like, 400, 500 DPI, maybe 600 DPI, that's fine. If you play on a low sensitivity, like, between, uh, three, no, yeah, between, like, 2.5 and 4.5. Um, because if you try to turn fast on here, it's, like, your screen turns before your body, so... Sometimes you can see it, sometimes you can't. So like, um, what I try to do, I try to like slightly turn my mouse around, so like that, like you know, left and right. So I can't, so my camera can keep up with my character, so like that, and or my my, my character can keep up with my camera on both ways. Um, <clears throat> I do. Um, I did discover that on a controller, when I plug the controller in for third person, um, it doesn't do that. So like. Uh, if you're an RGH or if you play, you know, in third person back on um, Halo Reach with RGH and shit, you know, your character and your camera both turns at the same as that time. So, um, but for keyboard and mouse, it doesn't. So, I think it's like where that, so the trick I'm doing right now, that trick right there is something that only keyboard and mouse players can do. And that right there, when I do that trick, it's like whenever if I'm getting one v like four or one v three, like people won't be able to kill me like that unless I fuck it up, whatever. So if I fuck it up, that's the only time when people will kill me. But other than that, bro, I can turn fast, like no matter what. I can see myself fighting. I can see myself fighting who and where I'm at and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, also you know, if you're a controller. You'll notice that, like, you know, on controller, when you're turning around and shit like that, and when you, while you're looking at a person, your camera kind of, like, locks onto them, which is annoying. And especially when you're 1v8ing, it does that, so it's kind of, like, hard to do. But on here, on keyboard and mouse, since there's no aim assist, whatever, you know, um, it doesn't do that. But you do still, or, right, um, you'll still be able to hit the target. Um, with your sword and like, you know, melee them like that, obviously, you know, there's still a little bit of, you know, of low, uh, like a little aim assist launch type of thing, I guess you could say, but there's no aim assist as in like, you know, if I look at them and shit like that, my camera will track them type of thing. So, oh, I did fight control players on here before, um, jumping over on this game it's easy as hell like it's so fast it ha it's just, I have clips of me hopping over people's heads like like in an instant dude it's, it's crazy um I will show some after this if you guys want to see or or you know um actually I actually I'm gonna save those clips I'm gonna save those clips cause I might do something with them um uh, yeah actually I'm gonna save those clips for probably my next video depending on what it is I don't know but I'm gonna save those clips though um so yeah, that's pretty much about it. Um, also, if you guys want to join Hillary's Assassination Tower on PC, uh, let me know in the description. I'll definitely send my. Dis I'll definitely put my. I said description. Uh, let me know in the comments. I'll put my Discord in the description, and I'll put the Halo base website in the description for a custom game browser, and I'll put the YouTube links for PC builds as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Time to scatter. Scatter.